Hello everyone, Abdul Kass here from the Midas Initiative. Now this is the fifth video on how to play the piano for people in a hurry. And today we'll be talking about progressions. Now a progression is the combination of chords. Chords are made up of notes. So your notes are your A, B, C. Your chords are your words. And progression are your phrases and sentences. So if you know your notes, then you can use the notes to form chords, and then you can use the chords to form progressions. So uh, in the last video, we talked about different progression. Uh, our D is going to be dumb, then dumb. That's our second, so root, major chord, second, minor chord, root, major chord, second, minor chord, bum, bum. You can have a song that is just bum, bum. That's just one and two. Now let's come back to key C, bum. We can still do one and two on the key of C. Just one and two. Now there are chords that are made up of, uh, let's say, one and four. Okay? And that's it. And you can form a song like this. For example, They never see me coming, see me coming. They were miscoming. Like a boy, we go for it. We go for it. She missed her money. From the beginning of the song, the verse, the everything is just that root one, major, and then four. That's all. There are many different possibilities of combinations that you can come with. However, there are certain combinations that are known to work because they've been tried and tested and they actually work well. For example, one, six, two, five. So we have one, mm, six, la, then two, mm, then five. Mm. So, one, six, two, five. One, six, four, five is also good. Another nice progression is one, five six four and it sounds like this now you can write a song with that progression another nice progression is six four one five so that sounds like a six using key C four one five something like that. So let me play a progression nine six and the spirit of life five calling God two. Six. Mm. Wait. Six. Mm. La. There's no mountain too great. God five. So hear this words and have faith. God two. God five. Five. Mm -hmm. Have faith. Six. Six. He lives in you. Four. One. Five, six, he watches over four, one, everything we see, five, six, into the water, four, one, into the two, five, in your reflection, four, he lives in you, six, so, 
that is how progressions are. Progressions are just a combination of different codes, and you can do them on different keys. Now, there are more progressions that you can work with, and you can see them written on the screen. Now, remember, you can practice that on different keys. But before we conclude on this particular lesson, remember that if I have C major, for example, I have one, three, five. Now, it doesn't matter if it is arranged in one, three, five, or three, five, and then one up. Three, five, one. That is called first inversion because it's the same chord, but we just inverted it. It can also be five, one, three. That second inversion is the same thing. So the fact that it is the omisa does not mean that it has to always be in this formation. It can be in a different formation. In fact, it can be the omisa and you add another do there to just make it rich and then you can maybe add another do here. As long as the note that you are playing is included in the chord. So I can play chord one, boom, boom, boom. chord two, chord four, five. I'm just combining the same notes that are in that chord. So when you have notes that make up a chord, you can play around the notes. The piano is yours. You can express as much as you can express as long as it is within the notes that are in that chord. So it means you have to really practice and know how to find the notes everywhere. For example, let's say I'm on the key of C sharp major. Because it is C sharp major, I can play it like this. Uh, You see, I, because I can see the notes everywhere. It is the same notes that make up that chord, but I'm playing them and expressing them because the notes are everywhere in the piano because of the octaves. And that is what makes the stuff rich. Now, the person also that can use inversion can start to use inversion such that if I'm in three, I don't need to move to six. From three, I know how to get the shortcut because I know the combination. So from three, I can just get to six because six is this, but I can get it also this way. So why do I need to travel far when I can just get the short chord here? So there are many ways you can get short chords in the chords that you play. And uh, the way to get it is by understanding the inversions and the inversions is easy to actually learn the inversion because when you learn any chord, just shift the first one up. You see, I have gotten an inversion to that and then shift that last one up again you've got in another inversion to that i think this is good enough for you to be able to build on your musical journey thank you very much for watching and bye for now